In this video, let's create a new Java project in uh, Eclipse for Rubik's Cube. So, new Java project. That's our Rubik's Cube. Next, finish. Okay, Rubik's Cube module. Don't create, we don't need that. So, our app will mimic the physical uh, three by three by three Rubik's cube. Let's create our Java package. Okay, so C O M dot go done. Which one were we used before? Which one did we use before? Let's check snake. To keep it consistent, come golden sun dot golden ladder dot snake. <laughs> okay, let's use new come dot golden sun dot golden class golden class dot Rubik's cube root cube okay so come the golden sun the golden class okay let's create our first new Java class so Rub Rubik's cube let's select this static main method this is our entry point of the program and uh, we'll create a panel to draw our ui okay user interface so new uh, java class so is rubik's cube panel okay so let's use panel cube panel And uh, yeah, we'll extend control no extend oh what happened extend oh that's because the in I'm using the wrong input method okay extend control control space what control space doesn't work uh, control space oh control space was hijacked by this one uh, here is how I disable that so let me try it again so extend control space yes j panel control space panel okay now we can close this one and we are override the paint component method here let's delete that command D and uh, we'll create a, a function um, to draw our front face okay so private mm. draw front Base. Okay, so let's um, cast this G to our graphic 2D. So G2 equals graphic 2D G, right? So we can pass this object to 
our function or BOID because yeah so we can call draw from place from here and pass in the 2G let's draw something here so G2 dot draw a rectangle do we have yeah rectangle yeah location let's put anything here 100 and 100 with uh, 100 here 100 and uh, can we fill it g2 dot fill fill rectangle do we fill rect do we have that yes so we'll use the same thing here and let's switch the order of them and uh, coming out this one for now now oh let's fi fix this warning here um, now um, let's go back to here to create a j frame frame equals new j frame with the title so what's the name rubik's cube for the window title shift enter and uh, let's create a j panel here so j our panel is look uh, cube panel cube panel panel equals new cube panel so let's add this one into our frame add component panel and uh, frame dot set visible okay true now uh, oh we can set the size of our frame so let's do it here set the size set the size this one and um, with yeah, let's use 600 by 600 for now. Let's see, run it. Wow, this is big. Okay, so I'm not sure our, yeah, let's keep it for now, 100, because it's an easy number. Yeah, so. Let's see if we can fill with a, a color. So G G two G two dot set color. Mm, let's use a standard color. So color dot blue. Yes, this one run it Ooh. set the color oh wrong place set color and uh, here should be black set the color let's make a copy of that I think this is a good idea and move it down here now change it to black try it again Oh, blue with a uh, black edge. Okay, it's fine. So now let's define something. So we need a uh, front face to be somewhere here, right? Let's define the constant for the origin x and origin y. 
like the anchor point, the top left of the front face. So um, it's like um, int and origin x. equals let's say here should be maybe yeah 100 100 250 100 and uh, y 250 let's see 250 so it will be maybe oh 300 uh, yeah there So, and uh, define the size, okay? Like square size, square size, okay? Equals 100. Now, let's replace the hard coded thing here. Origin x, origin y. Right, square size, and here square size. Let's copy the same thing here. Run it. Okay, so oh, we can specify the color. Oh, okay. Now it's a good idea to create a function to draw a single square of our front face, right? So it will be by way to be ID draw square draw square graphic 2D. We'll pass down this the location. Uh, let's use our logical location. So 0, 1, 0, comma, 0, 1, comma, 0. So it means column 1, row 0, right? So three columns by, and by three rows. Let's use that. Column row, OK? And we'll specify the color, OK? So yeah. So for the color, um, we'll do that later. So now we can cut this to here. And uh, let's call draw square. G2, let's draw the first one, OK? Zero. Zero. So, the our anchor point, right? Anchor point. So it should be. Hold on. Okay. So the anchor point of this square will be. Um, I N T. Uh, we can say top. Yeah, anchor x equals origin x plus row times the square side, make a copy, anchor y equals origin y, so row times that. So this is will be the top left corner of our each each unit square. So now we can put it this guy here instead. Anchor x, anchor x, and anchor y, anchor y here. So uh, this is uh, yeah blue and black. Okay. 
So let's draw another one. Make a copy of that. So zero one one zero zero zero. Okay. So command. In my case, I'm using a MacBook. So I don't have the the keyboard, the physical keyboard F F eleven key. So I have to command shift F N and then F eleven appears. So I can click that. Okay. So two squares, right? Now, um, two squares. Um, I think we'll create, uh, we'll con control the color in our next video. Okay, see you then. Bye.